Welcome to the Reddit Chronicles. Today we are reading from Today I F'd Up. Our first post is by Ting Bu Dongma. Today I F'd up by not realizing I was paying twice the price to wash my car. The gas station I go to has a car wash. The gas price is reduced by 10 cents a gallon if you buy a car wash with your gas purchase. When you pay for the gas, a prompt pops up that asks, do you want a car wash today? And if you press yes, the gas price per gallon decreases. Really simple and a great way to save a few bucks on gas. I'd always wondered how the gas station ensured people actually bought the car wash. Like, what was stopping someone from just clicking yes, getting the cheaper gas, and then leaving without buying a wash? Nonetheless, anytime I've wanted a car wash, I'd click yes, pump my discounted gas, then go to the car wash cashier and purchase a wash. Today, my friend was in the car with me when I went to get gas. I also wanted a car wash, so I clicked yes on the prompt and pumped the gas. Then I went to buy a car wash, but my friend stops me and asks what I was doing. When I told him I want to buy a car wash, he looks confused and say, you already did. Turns out, when you press yes, the machine charges you for the car wash at the pump. You then just take your gas receipt to the car wash cashier and they won't charge you again for the wash. I'd never noticed the car wash price was tacked on to the gas bill. I've been double paying to wash my car every month for 5 years, each wash is $10, that's $600 total. And all the while, I thought I was saving money. Our next post is by Circle or Zero. Today I effed up by helping my dad set up his Tinder profile. My parents divorced at the beginning of the year. I, 28M, have been as supportive as possible to both my parents since the divorce, but lately I've come to regret not being less involved because I was not fully prepared for the fallout of suddenly having crazy single parents, Exhibit A, my dad. He recently asked me to help him set up an account on Tinder because one of his co-workers suggested online dating. My dad had no idea how Tinder worked, so it became my responsibility to tell the internet that he's available. I love my dad, but he's the most boring person on the planet. His Tinder bio was mundane as F. Most of the photos he had included my mom, aka the ex-wife, which was obviously not usable. The few solo photos he had made him look like the hillbilly gas station owner who worked in the middle of nowhere and encouraged lost teenagers to follow the route that is not on the map so they could get violently killed by cannibals. My dad decided not to use the hillbilly photos, so he made me drive him to random locations where he posed for photos that clearly looked staged. Dad at the beach, dad at the gym, dad at the park, you get the picture. I don't know how but my dad managed to get more matches in a few weeks than I got since I joined Tinder two years ago. My mom somehow found out about my dad's Tinder profile and asked me to do the same thing for her. I didn't want to but I had to, otherwise my mom might feel discriminated. My love life is practically non-existent yet here I am helping my parents sleep with random people. Our next post is by Hopeful Emotion. Today I effed up by assuming I'd be mature enough to go to a nude beach with my brother and sister-in-law. This isn't one of those today I effed up by sex posts I swear. So my family wasn't, and still isn't very prudish. We didn't hang around nude or anything weird like that, it's just nudity wasn't condemned as some crime against humanity. So that meant that if somebody forgot their towel or didn't want to go inside with a wet bathing suit, it wasn't some embarrassing thing. We're really all still like this. My brother and I are late 20s for reference, so this all isn't as strange as it sounds. Last week, my brother called me up and told me he was headed to Gunnison Beach, which is clothing optional, and they both wanted to know if I was up for a trip. I figured what the hell and said sure, and so last Saturday we took the drive. Now keep in mind, I've never done this before. Neither had my brother, it was actually sister-in-law's idea. But I figured with the way we both grew up I'd be fine. Well, wishful thinking, I guess. See, I'm very introverted in general, and I always hate public places just because it feels like everybody is both staring at and actively hating me. We walk down to the beach, take a picture in front of the sign, and once we found our spot we stripped down. 
now that I was close to freaking out had nothing to do with my brother and sister-in-law. They're just family, so I had no issues there. The issue was me. For one, I still had that I'm gonna get arrested anxiety that everyone apparently has their first time, on top of my social anxiety. I swore people were glaring at me. They thought I was weird for going with family. How would they know that dumbass? They thought I was ugly. They both saw I was freaked out and were worried, but I just brushed it off and tried to force myself through it. In the end, I just covered up with a towel and cowered for a few hours. They did manage to get me to swim twice, which was awesome by the way, but I was clearly not having a good time. In the end, sister-in-law forgot to put sunblock on her feet and they were frying, so it was a good excuse to leave a bit early. The funniest part is that both of them absolutely loved it, and they talked. Now our parents and other brother wanna come next year, and there's even some talk about taking a family trip to a nude resort next July. I do actually wanna give that a try, but clearly I need more practice first. Our next post is by Significant Net. Today I effed up by peeing on the floor of my one night stand. I 23F met this girl at a nightclub and she invited me to her place. She was the hottest person in the entire place by the way, so I was very thrilled. We hooked up and fell asleep. I then woke up to pee and started looking for the bathroom. I went into a room, but it was not the bathroom, it was sort of a storage room. I was extremely drunk and was about to piss myself and I just peed on the floor. I literally have no logical explanation for it. I saw a piece of clothing and proceeded to throw it on the pee puddle. I then went back to bed. The whole thing was like a fever dream. When I woke up again, and as the memory started flooding back in, I realized what the F have I just done, and the direness of the situation. I started to brainstorm about how to clean there and get rid of that clothing, but it was almost impossible for me to get back to that room without risking being seen by her flatmates which would draw a lot of suspicion since I was a stranger and had no reason to get into another room. She was still asleep. I woke her up to say goodbye and left. I can't stop thinking about how are they going to find my piss there on someone's clothing. I am so disgusted by myself. I shared this with my friends because this was just too heavy for myself to handle, but sharing it made me feel worse as I got sadder for confessing this. Edit. I want to thank everyone in the comments for sharing their own experience and for their kind consolations. I read each one of them. It will take me some time to stop ruminating about this and accept the situation. I was not sure whether if coming out would be the better decision, but as time passed I realized that it was, because the idea of someone cleaning up after my mess sucks more. This was also my first time in a stranger's house and I learned that one should definitely go to the bathroom at first, both for a little self-care session and to learn where it is in case of an emergency. Our next post is by Kaleidoscope Life. Today I effed up by taking a pregnancy test while my husband was out of town. My husband, 27M, and I, 28F, have been married for four years. We decided to start trying out for a baby about two years ago after a pregnancy scare, in which we realized we were ready to start a family. Unfortunately, ever since we've been trying, the result is always negative when I think I may be pregnant because there's a symptom of something, like my cycle being late. We both even got checked over, and the doctor told us that we were both fine. Some people just take longer to get pregnant than others, but every time the test would come back negative, I could see the disappointment on my husband's face, I felt disappointed too. Anyway, my husband had to go to a business conference for five days and just left today. I decided that while he was gone, I would take another pregnancy test because my cycle is late again and save him the disappointment of it being negative. The F up happened when the test actually came back positive. I couldn't believe my eyes, so I went to buy two more pregnancy tests, and lo and behold, they both came back positive too. Now I feel really bad that I'm actually pregnant, and my husband missed finding out about it at the same time as me. I also don't want to lie to him and pretend to take the test again. Jamtal writes in the comments below. 
I was in your situation, I'm the male. We used to do the tests together, but the disappointment was unbearable when it wasn't positive. One day, after almost a year, my partner showed up with a positive pregnancy test and felt similar to you. Shame she didn't share the moment with me. But I bulldozed through that shame at the sheer elation that I was going to be a dad. I danced, shouted with joy, and didn't even register her misplaced concern. I didn't care if she found out first, I was going to be a father, I wouldn't even worry about it one bit. Thank you for listening to the Reddit Chronicles. Follow for more content.